Hi, Lisa here for the Graphics Fairy. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to hand tie a floral bouquet. And the inspiration for this project was this beautiful printable from the Graphics Fairy Premium Membership site. It's a set of six collaged tags made with vintage images, of course, and there's a blank label on each one where you can write a name. And all I did was print this out on my home printer on some lightweight cardstock, and then I cut them out, punched the hole in the top, and they're ready to go, whether it's for gift wrapping or, in this case today, we're going to tie them to a bouquet of flowers. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is to get some flowers. I went in my yard and got most of these. I have some dogwood blossoms, a little rosemary, some wildflowers, tulips, and my lilacs, which are not quite open yet, but they're almost there. And then once you have your flowers, and if you get store-bought, just go ahead and take them out of that plastic packaging and tie the stems together with a rubber band. So then your flowers are ready to go. And then you'll want to print out the tags and cut them out. And once you've cut them out, you want to go ahead and punch the top with a hole punch. And then you can address it and let's see. I have a calligraphy pen, but you can just use a regular marker too. I like to do print and then um, and Molly. Just like that. So those are ready to go. And the next thing you'll want to do is to cut your ribbon. I cut mine to 70 inches. You can get away with 50 if you like, but um, I like to wrap it a couple of times around the bouquet. So I like a longer piece. And this is just a uh, sort of a satin ribbon that I'm using. I just love this. And, you know, pick a color that sort of works with your bouquet. And then, so once you have your tag and your ribbon cut, then you want to go ahead and cut your paper. And I have just have some craft paper that I've had around forever. It's about 18 inches deep. And you want to cut kind of a square. So I'm going to just eyeball it. And you want to use your best scissors for this. I actually grabbed all my scissors and tested them out and found the sharpest pair. Because you want a nice clean cut. Um, because the edge will show actually so it's even best if you have a really sharp pair that you can just kind of slide the scissors through the paper but none of mine were quite that sharp okay so then you will want to open up your paper and if you want, you can wrap a damp paper towel around the base of the stems and then put it in a baggie and then put a paper, I mean a rubber band around the top of that. And that will um, give the flowers some water if they're going to be sitting out for a while, which right now that might be the case. You might want to leave them on someone's porch and they might want to let them sit there for a while. So, um, but I'm going to skip that step right now. I'm just going to take the flowers out of the water and place them diagonally on the paper. And you want to leave a point up here. And then you will fold the paper over, making a cone just like this a little tighter. You really want to try not to wrinkle the paper as best you can. There. So you see how it is a point here and then it's overlapping here and the bottom is kind of in a point. All right, so then you want to secure this and I have some of the aged tape that I made a couple weeks ago in one of the quick tip videos and I'm using that but 
You could use any kind of tape or you could use double stick tape and hide it underneath. All right, so this is about ready. Now you wanna find kind of the midpoint of your cone. So I'm thinking right about here. And what you wanna do is quickly just scrunch it, squeeze the paper, but try not to wrinkle the top. So it's just best to kind of just go for it. And I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. And if you get some crinkles, you can just reach your hands in and sort of push those out. It will be okay. Now take your ribbon and feed it through the hole in the tag and find the midpoint. That's about right, I'd say. Then put that over the crinkled part and loop it around underneath. And this is where you can see I like to do a couple runs around with the ribbon to kind of hide this crinkle part. And the bow will help hide that too. So just go like this and then tie a bow. And I think what really makes this special is attention to detail. So, you know, your best handwriting on the tag your best effort at a bow and it always takes me a little fiddling with my bows to get them right but I think what makes it really special is that time that you spend making it as best as you can for someone all right that's about right and pull the bow really tight and then you'll want to go ahead and trim the ends of your ribbon. That's why I used some extra ribbon so that I would have enough to trim. Let's kind of make them a little more even. There we go. And this will dry and it will be lovely. And I think this is just such a nice surprise for someone, mothers, for Mother's Day, friends who are going through a difficult time. Anybody would love to find a surprise like this on their porch, I think. So I hope that you like this. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll leave the link for the printable down there. And please like this video and follow us here at the Graphics Fair YouTube channel. And we'll be back next Friday with another quick tip video. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.